Welcome to OptimisticWellness.com. I'm Josh Lipovetsky. Today's post is about Lycurgus, the Spartan lawgiver, and how that relates to public accountability. Although they don't really relate that much, I wanted to talk about both of them. So there's much more detail in the written post below. But to give a general outline, in Sparta, there's a guy named Lycurgus. He might not have been a real man, maybe he was just invented, but let's say he's a man. And he needed to invent laws for the Spartan citizens. He had a goal in mind. He wanted to make the citizens warriors, in particular. Why? Well, they conquered a land called Mycenae, and the Mycenaeans that were under their power, they renamed them, they called them Helots. And these Helots became Spartan slaves. But the problem was, these helots outnumbered the Spartans seven to one. When you're outnumbered, when your slaves outnumber you in a country seven to one, historically speaking, what do you need to do? You need to build a really strong military force because if there's an uprising, if there's a revolt, because, you know, who wants to be a slave? That's angry people and they outnumber you. You've got to build up military force. So this entire state of Sparta, which thrived for a while, was just completely morals, not much. Justice, not much. Warriors, yes. Everything was set aside so that people would be warriors. And they would you know, throw babies off of cliffs. And sometimes, to prove their worth, the Spartans would kill the slaves, the helots. So it wasn't a moral society, but there were some character traits that were admirable, such as loyalty, honor to the state. Everything was for the state. I mean, another cool thing about the sexual hang-ups I thought was really fascinating. In order to become a full-fledged warrior in any battle that you're pursuing in life, it's pretty essential to overcome those sexual hang-ups. So what did Lycurgus have the Spartan men do? and women, he had them dance together naked at festivals. Sexual hang-ups, gone. Pretty admirable stuff when you look back at it. Really admirable stuff, really interesting. We have a lot to learn from, from history. There are bad things as well as good things. So I encourage you to look at the post below for more info on Sparta and Lycurgus. Now the public accountability part don't remember how it ties in, but I'm going to talk about it now. So I did this great books quest. My commitment, it's over a 10 year commitment, six days a week, at least 60 minutes a day for those six days. Here's the thing. If you want to do anything in life, all you have to, you have to work backwards. Think about the person you want to be, what character traits you want to have, and then Think of the ritual that you want to put in place. And I recommend dedicating at least 30 minutes a day, minimum three days a week, for at least three months at a time, preferably six months. That should be very easy to do. You can do whatever skill you want. You can do an instrument, la learning a language, business, marketing, art, anything. I'm trying to think of stuff off the top of my head internet marketing, reading, I, I said musical instrument, and just set that up. Go to stick.com, S-T-I-C-K-K.com, set up a public accountability. If you have a blog, post it on your blog like I did about my great books quest, document your progress. The best part about this is, and I recommend at least 30 minutes a day. If you make a 10 to 20 minute a day commitment, it's fine, like I do with meditation, but 30 minutes a day is great, 60 even better. But minimum of 33 to 5 days a week. If you're brave, do 6 to 7 days a week. If you commit to this over the period of 3 months, 6 months, 1 year, you will get there. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. So that's how I want to conclude this post. Hopefully, reading about Lycurgus and Sparta really revs you up. Because that is my goal here, to do something really cool and publicly commit to it. Because Spartans, they were committed people. And 
I want the same for you, except I want you to be committed to virtue and justice, because they're awesome. So thank you for watching, and optimism is the only way.